What's up? I'm Johnny Andrews with Audio Attacker, and you are watching Interview Connections TV. It's Jessica Rhodes. Thanks for joining me for today's episode of Interview Connections TV. I'm going to say this is the first official um, fall episode of Interview Connections TV. I am wearing a sweater. It was quite chilly today um, after it being summer for so many months. So I'm just transitioning into the fall weather. I hope it's still beautiful and sunny and warm and wherever you are. In today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing a, a tip, a mindset tip that I swear is going to help your sanity. I know a lot of people watching Interview Connections TV are entrepreneurs who either have a podcast, who want to start a podcast, or entrepreneurs who wanna be booked for interviews on other shows. And if you're anything like me, you're listening to a lot of podcasts about podcasting, you are following all of the experts and the gurus in our industry, and everyone with a microphone, who is essentially everyone with a Facebook page, everyone with a Twitter profile, everyone with their podcast, they all have an opinion on the way things should be done. Everyone has an opinion on, you know, when you're asked to be interviewed on a podcast, who should you say yes to, who should you say no to, and why. Everyone has an opinion on what microphone to use, everyone has an opinion on should you use a mixer, should you use call recorder. Folks, everyone has an opinion. That is the key here. First of all, I want to encourage you to only seek advice from specific people. I encourage you to just post on Facebook, post in these groups with a thousand people, with questions because you're gonna to get tons of different opinions, you're gonna to get tons of different people telling you what you should do and how you should do it, and if you don't know how to process and compartmentalize that advice, you will get very overwhelmed very quickly. I announced in an episode a couple of weeks ago that I am starting a podcast in October called Roads to Success, and I have it on my whiteboard right behind that, right behind this camera. October 1st is the launch date, so, Hold me accountable to that, folks, but I've had a lot of questions about how to record it, the tagline, the audio intro. I mean, there's so much that goes into starting a podcast, so I'm, I have a lot more respect for my podcaster friends now that I'm doing it myself. You know, I've been booking podcast guests with Interview Connections, but I haven't been involved in the, the tech side, so I'm really learning a lot this month, but the whole point of telling you this is that I've had a lot of questions, but have limited how much I bring these questions to the masses. This morning I was trying to figure out how to take audio from GarageBand and play it into the call because I really want, when I'm interviewing someone, I want them to hear the intro. I don't want to plug it in later because I feel like that really sets the tone for the interview. If they can hear the, the music and the voiceover guy, I really wanted that to happen and I'm trying to figure out how to do that, right? So I was searching on YouTube a whole lot, just trying to find an instructional video. After a few minutes of not finding a video, I did post in a couple Facebook groups, but as soon as I found my answer, I deleted the post because I didn't need my Facebook blowing up with notifications with every, I'm trying to think of a nice way to say this, with every know-it-all podcaster. I'm sorry, I say that with all due respect. But everyone who has a podcast thinks they're an expert, so I didn't need 20 notifications telling me, you should do this, you should do this. My point is, if you do need help with someone, be very specific about who you go to, and then compartmentalize the feedback. Don't let it overwhelm you. I hope that helps you. Um, I know that's what helps me stay, stay sane. That's what helps me stay, have a low stress level in my life and in my business. I'm wondering if you feel the same, you know, are you very, I'm very active in Facebook groups, but I really select carefully what I'm asking for advice from and where I'm going for that advice. And that is so critical when you're starting a podcast, when you're learning how to do something new in your business. If you wanna learn more about how I can help you get booked for podcasts, how I can help your podcast grow by booking great guests, please visit interviewconnections.com. Interviewconnections.com slash guest is another place where you can learn more about Interview Connections guest booking services. Um, check out my Kindle book on Amazon. It's called Podcast Interviews. 
and in a few weeks I will be launching the Roads to Success podcast, so keep your eyes and ears open for that announcement. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone have a great productive week. Productive because you're not going to be asking too many people for feedback, right? Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for joining me. Have a great productive week. Do lots of interviews and I will see you next Tuesday.